Hello my soccer universe, so this last part of the FCORN jersey review and actually this group F, although we don't have any uh, teams still in the competition left, was probably the best group in the sense that all four nations in their flags have the African colors that we actually have here on the crest, the red, the yellow, the green and two of them have even a black star in there so you know all African colors in there and that's what you would expect also featuring prominently on the jerseys um, which for the most case it does so it makes for an interesting group will it be as great of a group as yesterday in terms of jerseys I can already say no uh, we won't see as uh, that many great jerseys but we will see some really interesting and nice ones and so Let's get straight to it. Uh, we'll start, of course, with Cameroon, who were the holders. Of course, they couldn't uh, defend their title, who just a few months before the AFCON switched from Puma, where they had really crazy jerseys, uh, ones that I would have slammed, I can tell you right, right away, although they were so ugly that I almost would have want to have it to uh, Le Coq Sportif, uh, who supplied them, I think, for the 82 World Cup. So kind of there was a little bit connection there. I'm honestly sorry to see uh, Cameroon leave Puma, but seemingly they couldn't get uh, good terms for it. Le Coq Sportif, in the short while, produced actually a decent jersey. Um, you know, the green that you would expect. And then on the top, uh, they put the two logos that you also see on my uh, Puma Cameron shirt that I have from 2010. Uh, the lion, the lion as the crest and then the Federation crest on the right side and the Le Coq Sportif in the middle. And of course, the big feature are, of course, the two lions, which is the old style lion. If you watched the 90 World Cup, I think right up until the 2002 World Cup, probably even thereafter, they had this type of lion. I think in 2006 or 8 they changed from the lion that's here on the print to this more uh, circular one, a little bit more fierce. Uh, the lion here is more like a content lion. I like the idea of this double lion print. Uh, I just find it a little bit too much, especially that they're facing each other. I think having only one and maybe enlarging it uh, would have made a stronger statement. Also, you do you really need it? because you have already one lion there and you know you have the federation crest so it's kind of it gets hidden away behind those logos so i rather would have this lion a little bit larger and maybe arranged all the items in such a way that you don't have uh, it hidden away or cut through the collar the other gripe that i have is i feel except you know the only the federation crest has some red other than that red is missing i mean we have yellow there i think a little bit more red would have done this jersey well uh so yeah nice idea it's not a bad look if you look at it uh in game there's also a nice cameron flag here on the side so it doesn't look all that bad i just think it could have done a little bit more and i gave it at the women's world cup seven stars and i'll do so here too the away jersey is basically a yellow version of the home shirt yes i think uh if i get for now, I want to get as many African teams as possible and typically home jerseys, except for Mali, where I have the away jersey, and Ghana, where I have the away jersey. We'll talk about Ghana in a sec. Uh, however, I have to say that a yellow Cameroon jersey is pretty high on my list, to be uh, honest. Uh, but it won't be this one. I do like aspects of it. It's very similar to that one, but again, it has the same flaws uh, as the home jersey, and for that reason, I won't go higher or lower i will keep this at seven stars so yeah camera looking good let's see how ghana where i'm wearing this uh 2014 home jersey which i loved a lot ghana actually and i'm a little bit confused uh from this afcon uh when it, uh the this jersey here was released it was billed as the home jersey however it has been only worn once at the afcon and uh, coincidentally when ghana was a home team uh, in their first match um I actually welcomed the switch from the white to the red jersey uh, with some yellow because I want a Ghana to have a stronger look. But to be honest, the first time I saw this one, it was a it looks quite messy. You have the red with the yellow raglan sleeves, which I think I'm still okay with. Uh, I also like the flags on the collar. However, the pattern 
uh, on the jersey is a little bit too much for me. I mean, uh, we saw at the Cote d'Ivoire that there's an elephant here. They try to get the star pattern. It's a little bit more prominent when you look at it on the player version. Uh, but it, I cannot help but say it looks messy and unmotivated. Uh, it doesn't do much to me. It actually clutters it up and then you have the black star, which actually I know should be there, right there. Uh, but kind of hidden away. I like this red Ghana jersey and it made a lot of sense as an alternate. But if you asked me if here the colors were switched, a yellow jersey with a black star and the red sleeves, I think this might look much better. Uh, I do remember the first time I watched as Ghana was I think at the 92 Olympics. And I remember the yellow jerseys with the green and the red Adidas applications and it uh, was just wonderful. And I also have, and you know, I, I always had the feeling that Ghana is playing yellow at home. And then at the World Cup in 2006, when I first, first time see them again, suddenly they're in white. And it didn't make much sense to me. It still doesn't make much sense to me, although the jerseys sometimes look quite well. Uh, but I would love Ghana embrace yellow again. I really would love to. And I would like to, to know why they went away from the yellow. This jersey is honestly a mess. Um, and that the numbers, uh, that uh, Puma numbers from this um, psyche doesn't help the jersey either. Again, I would switch the colors. Uh, have it yellow and make red on the shoulders. Maybe you can add a little bit green in there. Uh, especially the black star and the red doesn't make sense because as you can see here, the black star is actually on the yellow in the flag. So yeah. Uh, crest, we can also redo this a little bit, but you know, I, for some reason, I don't mind it as much here as I do in other jerseys. Other jerseys. It's messy, and uh, while I like the idea, I like them going to red. I just I can only give this three stars. I'm sorry. Um, the pattern is just too ugly. However, the away jersey, the one that, uh, maybe this is not a home jersey again, um, that's a whole different story. I really like that one. White, similar to the Cote d'Ivoire, also similar to Austria, or Italy even, white. You have a little bit flag here, you have a little bit flag here, you have the blacks down the front, and you have the crest uh, and the numbers. That's it. And honestly, it looks darn fine. This is, uh, if... I would, before the AFCON, I bought Ghana jerseys, I was looking at a few white ones um, and all, always either it was too much color or too crazy or uh, it was only white with black. If I would have seen this one, I think I might have gone for this one, although it's, this one honestly is hard to beat with the print on there, which I love a lot. So yeah, I really like this jersey. This is a great looking shirt. Um, I especially like that the flag, although there could be stars in there, uh, give it a little bit more character. I love the black star on there. It's really, uh, it doesn't need to be more stars. Uh, it is a strong statement. Uh, it makes a whole lot of sense. It's a simple, beautiful jersey that I actually really like to watch. And I'm quite sad to see that Ghana is not in the tournament anymore. I'm gonna go with this, believe it or not, nine stars. This was one of my favorite jerseys, although it is so simple. Uh, but this was one of my favorite jerseys to watch during this AFCON. Now for the other two teams, I don't have uh, only jersey pictures. I have to go for with in-match pictures. And we'll start, of course, with Benin, who made it uh, surprisingly to the quarterfinals even, uh, who were supplied by Umbro. And I have to say, uh, those jerseys really look nice. Again, flag of Benin, we know uh, yellow, red, and then a, a little bit green on the side. Very simple flag. Take the yellow, add a little bit red, and then have all this triangle or whatever specs on there. Uh, also, the number font is really classic. I like the red color, I like the red sleeve cuffs. Um, it looks a little bit 1990s, but not in a bad way, I have to say. I really like, I really liked these jerseys when, when I watched them. Um, are they the most exciting ones at this AFCON? No, they are not, but they're pretty good jerseys. Uh, and for that reason, I'm willing to give this yellow jersey um, 
eight stars. The away jersey was white, only worn against Ghana when they were in the red. Um, and yeah, similar stuff. Yes, do I wish it we had a green jersey or a red jersey? Yes, but I am. I can see why they needed to wear a white jersey here. It's the same design. It's just the white maybe doesn't quite that connect. And then you have a little bit more um, green and yellow. Uh, the red is only on the collar. Well, maybe fine too. But for some reason, personally, I this I like this a little bit less, a little bit less. And for that reason, I only give this seven stars. And then we are already at the last team, which is also a Puma team. Um, and a very interesting one. Again, I only have um, match pictures and uh, at that one at the moment not really good ones, but maybe when I make this video I can find better ones. We talk about Guinea-Bissau, or as I say Portuguese Guinea sometimes to uh, differentiate it, but I know that guinea uh the people there will probably not be that much, not that much be reminded of the Portuguese past. Well, who knows? Uh, this is basically the Serbia template. Uh, red with those uh, weird shoulder um, stripes that are cut, you know, similar as to what we've seen with Senegal. So uh, not a good start, to be honest. Um, also that it's white, it's similar to the, um, I think it was in the Guinea kids that also had white on there from Macron. So the both Guineas, I don't know why they suddenly pop up with the white. Um, that is all a little bit boring. However, it is saved by... And it took me a long while to figure out, is this a feather? Is this a palm tree? I think it's a palm tree that is shown on there, uh, or just a branch of a palm tree that comes in here, which is uh, adds a nice touch to the entire jersey. Does it save it entirely? No, it does not, but it is. it adds something special, which I do like, I have to say. And yeah, for that reason, I think I'm gonna give this um, six stars because there is some something special on there. It actually reminds me a little bit of, of the Guinea jerseys. So both Guinea and Guinea Bissau have similar jerseys despite having different suppliers. Unfortunately, I have not seen any other jerseys than the red ones, so I cannot tell you what Guinea Bissau will have as an away jersey or as a third jersey. I would imagine there is probably a white one with red. I can also imagine a yellow one happening, uh, but I've only seen the red one, uh, so please drop a comment below if you know more. Uh, maybe I will find, <laughs> before I edit this one, I'll, I'll find something. But as of now, I couldn't, so I'll leave it at that. We have finished with the AFCON jersey re review. As I said, if you want to see mostly great jerseys, you got to watch part 5. Um, it was so and so on, on, on honestly. There were some really great jerseys, but I have to say, for many teams, I thought there could be better jerseys. Um, this group actually here also redeemed itself a little bit, although the Ghana jerseys, the red ones, were not that uh, great. This is a nice Ghana jersey, but Ghana, go back to yellow. I would love to see that. Anyway, drop a comment below to tell me what you think about these jerseys in uh, general or how, how you would rate them. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and yeah, we'll have um, the big European League's jersey reviews coming up probably soonish, within two months, I think we'll go to these. And up until then, I'll keep you updated with stuff from my collection and also with my thoughts to the game. I'll talk to you soon, bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.